What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy back with another Dokkan Battle video. So the 4 year anniversary has officially begun on JP and there's a lot of crazy stuff for us to go over together so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first things first, right off the top you can tell it's going to be a GT theme celebration which I feel like most people already knew about but if you didn't then we got this GT Pan, GT Trunks, and GT Goku right here on the banner. Moving down just a little bit, at number one, we have the fourth anniversary special movie. Now, I personally have not seen the movie yet, but I'm sure it's very solid. They always do a great job with these, and it's probably gonna make quite a few people feel super old, especially if you've been playing since the very beginning. At number two, we have, thanks to fourth anniversary, every day, Kamragya login bonus. Now, I'm not 100% sure what Kamragya means, but of course it is a direct translation from Japanese, so some of the English might be a little bit rough, but this is essentially gonna be the login bonus that everybody's gonna get, and you can expect quite a few stones every day, some anniversary coins, anniversary tickets, and other good stuff as well. At number three, we have the fourth anniversary commemoration Great Adventure mission, so there's gonna be the daily missions, the limit time missions, and all that stuff for more stones, more kais, more tickets, more coins, and uh, all those things. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't have the translations for all the missions, so if you guys were looking for that in this video, I apologize, but I don't have them. We're just gonna focus on the news in this video, and maybe in a separate video, I'll talk about the translations for the missions over there. So, at number four, we have fourth year or fourth anniversary commemoration ticket gotcha so just like last year there is going to be a ticket banner that we can use the four year anniversary tickets on and just like last year there's probably going to be all the lrs on that banner but unlike last year there's even more summonable lrs in the game now so i expect even more people to be pulling lrs on this banner with their tickets so uh, best of luck to you guys hope everybody gets whatever they want i'm sure the featured units are going to be okay it looks like this Hercule is going to be on there, who's a very good tank, right? But, um, I mean, the main prize, of course, are the unfeatured LRs. So, yeah, I hope everybody pulls at least one. Last year, for me personally, I didn't pull a single LR on my tickets for JP or Global. So, let's hope things uh, turn around this time. But best of luck to you guys. Number five, we have To The Universe, Dokkan Grand Touring. Now, I believe... Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a new story event, and I don't know exactly what it's going to be all about, but I'm sure we can all get more free dragon stones from it, so that's always a good thing. Moving on, we have the anniversary coins, and just like last year, I'm pretty sure we can exchange them in the Baba Shop for Kai's, medals, training items, support items, and stuff like that. Next up, there's the red dragon stone and the purple dragon stone. Now, they did make a few changes to the character pools for both of these stones. For the red dragon stone, which everybody should get for free upon first login, they officially added the STR Gogeta, and that's freaking awesome, especially for newer players on JP like myself, because most of us don't have him, and he just got his Extreme Z Awakening on JP, and he's an absolute beast. So if you guys don't have him, I would definitely recommend picking him up with the red stone but of course if you already have him then there's also a lot of other good options too because at the end of the day i mean all the extreme z awakened dokkan fest units are amazing okay and for the purple dragon stone it's a little bit less exciting because these are fairly old units but they did add or they're going to add the physical vegeto blue and agl rose now don't get me wrong they're both still amazing amazing units but I feel like at this point, most people probably already have them, but if you don't for some reason and you have all the other 120 leads, then they're not a bad option. And just like normal, I'm pretty sure they're going to be locked behind a stone pack, so you will have to purchase like a 100 stone or a 90 stone pack to get the Purple Dragon Stone, so it's not technically free, but it is kind of like a free bonus on top of the stone pack. So if you guys are pay to play players and uh, you're missing either one of them or some dupes for the 120 needs then might not be a bad deal okay next up of course we have a dragonstone sale which is standard for all major celebrations and you can see the purple dragonstone on top here like i said you have to unlock it by buying a stone pack but as far as the other deals go it looks like there's the set with premium super dragonite or dragonstones 100 dragons so i'm guessing 100 stones and it looks like that's it maybe there's gonna be some smaller deals that they just don't, don't feel like talking about here but as far as I can see here, there's going to be a 100 stone pack for some heavily discounted price, hopefully. Fingers crossed, right? Fingers crossed. After that, we have this brand new Extreme Z battle event for the Int Goku Jr. Now, I don't know exactly what he does 
after his EZA, but I would definitely recommend everybody to do it because number one, free stones for clearing the first 30 stages, most likely, and number two, he's a free to play unit, so everybody should have him rainbowed at this point, and with the way that free to play units have been going these days, I would definitely expect him to be very, very good, so make sure you get him done when you can. And we also have this brand new Giru coming in. So this Giru is going to be very similar to the Inkoku Jr. or Tech Bulma where he has his own stage to farm his dupes and his orbs. So he's going to be a completely free rainbow unit. And with the way that things are going these days, I'm sure he's going to get his own Extreme Z Awakening at some point down the line. So it's going to be totally worth it to farm him up. We're also getting this brand new Bald Hercule event. Now, it looks like it's going to be available once per day, but I don't really know what kind of rewards we can expect to see from it. Now, it could be similar to that Goku event from the third year anniversary where completing it every day will get you a ton of rank XP as well as these new coins that you can use to exchange for good stuff in the Baba Shop, but it could also be kind of different, so don't hold me to it. Next up is something that I feel like a lot of people are either very excited for or kind of confused by. And of course, I'm talking about the event to awaken B-Pan to LR status. Now, I don't know about you guys, but before the leaks came out, I did not expect B-Pan to be the next free-to-play LR in Dokkan, but you know what? At the same time, I'm not complaining. The official Twitter page for Dokkan actually released her super attack, her voice line, and her active skill. And I'm not gonna lie, she looks pretty cool. So personally, I am very excited for her. At number 14, we have the next iteration of the virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, or Dokkan Battlefield, whatever you want to call it. And this just means more free stones as well as Battlefield Jewels for everybody, which is freaking awesome. At number 15, even more free stones because we're finally getting the next stage of Boss Rush and the bosses are revealed here as well. So we got STR Jiren, LR Vegito, AGL Turles, UI Goku, and SSB Vegeta. Now this one's gonna be pretty freaking tough. I feel like most people that have been playing this game for maybe over a year or two, or are whales, are still gonna be able to clear it with no issues, but it's definitely gonna give some newer players a lot of trouble. But the good thing is, it is a indefinite or permanent event, so everybody should be able to clear it at some point and we're probably gonna get between 40 to 45 stones for beating it the first time. So that's a good chunk of stones that can go towards the Dual Dokkan Fest 44 year anniversary. And speaking of the four year anniversary, Dual Dokkan Fest, we'll get to that in just a second. But moving on from there, we have the return of pretty much all the GT events. I'm pretty sure it's actually all the GT events. So yeah, all four are coming back. And of course, the thing that we've all been waiting for, the announcement of the Dual Dokkan Fest for the four year anniversary, it's officially gonna be an LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, an LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and their banners drop as early as January 31st, so within a couple of days from now. I'm very, very excited for them. I'm just hoping, praying that their banners are good. And as far as the units themselves go, we don't know too much about them, what they do, except for the fact that they will have ultimate attacks for their active skills, and they will also have voice lines, which is gonna be super freaking dope. Can't wait to see that. And obviously they have new Dokkan events too to awaken both of them. And uh, after that, there's gonna be a Elder Kai banner. If you guys are missing Elder Kais, then I guess you can go for it. But uh, I would recommend most people to stay away from it because you wanna spend as many stones as possible for both of these guys. And moving on, there's gonna be an SNS campaign, so more free stones from that. And just like the three year anniversary, we're gonna get all the type banners on rotation. And they're probably only gonna be available for one multi each, but for doing that multi, you'll get 4,000 orbs of that specific type. And one very exciting thing about this AGL banner is that they added the Wrathful Broly as a featured unit. If you guys haven't tested him out yet, haven't used him yet, he's an absolute monster. So that's pretty exciting to me. And uh, from there, we have some special missions over the weekend and you get some free stones, some Kai's from that. So that's cool. Super Battle Road open every single day. Um, I believe this is all the type uh, orb events, the hidden potential orb events that will be available on the weekends. And that's pretty much all the news there is for the four year anniversary on JP, at least the first part of it. I expect the second part as well. And some people are predicting that um, for the second part is when they will be dropping an LR Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now, I don't want to put that out there in case it doesn't happen, but um, let's stay cautiously optimistic because I feel like they do have something really, really big planned for part two. But for the time being, part one's pretty huge. I mean, there's a lot of exciting stuff, of course. LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um, 
I mean, Extreme Z battle for Int Goku Jr. We also have the LRB pan thing, new boss rush. I mean, there's there's a lot of great stuff, a lot of great stuff. And of course, all these uh, these orb banners on rotation too. You can pull LRs on there as well. And yeah, I mean, guys, it's it's huge. There's, there's a lot of great stuff, but that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you're the most excited for when it comes to this four-year anniversary. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I got to say. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.